Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review about this freediving book by Ulberto Pilizzari uh, with the name Specific Training for Freediving. And for those of you who are new to my channel, who maybe see me for the first time ever, my name is Sergey and I'm a freediving instructor trainer at Crystal Freediving. On my freediving YouTube channel, I'm sharing with all of you my freediving knowledge. Sometimes I do a training tips, sometimes I do a freediving product reviews. And today, for the first time ever, I decide to do a review about freediving book. Right? So if you're new to my channel, don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel and then you're gonna find a lot of useful information here which is gonna help you to become a better and safer freediver. Right? If you've done it, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, freediving review. This book I actually got uh, a few months ago. I think maybe even like three or four. I bought it on Amazon. You can do the same. Um, if you don't know how to buy it in Amazon, you can check the link in this description below and then you can find affiliated links to uh, this book where you can buy it, right? So, uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through all the chapters in this book. I'm gonna discuss what I like specifically about each chapter and maybe what I dislike about this chapter and the end. I'm gonna give you my opinion about is it worth it to buy it or not. Alright, so the, the book has uh, six chapters and let's start with the first one. So the first chapter is about general ideas how to plan your training and I think it is a great because uh, we all understand that if you want to be a f like serious freediver, if you want to plan your training, you're supposed to understand how it can be done, how the periodization works how you can structure your training, how you can start with the basic training and how you can work uh, towards your personal best uh, attempts, right? And for those of you who don't know how to do it, and I guess a lot of beginner and intermediate freedivers have zero idea how to do it, I think chapter one in this book is absolutely perfect. So for the chapter number one, let's put the thumbs up, really useful, gives you a uh, general understanding how to structure your training, how periodization is working, etc, etc, etc. So chapter number one, great one. The second chapter, for me, even better, because this was the reason why I bought this book, and it is a dynamic apnea. So my main focus at this moment is dynamic apnea with the biofins. I really want to improve my game. I'm really looking for how I can do it. Uh, so, and there's not that much information which you can find online. I try to visit uh, some workshops, but again, it's kind of uh, lacking of information, at least for me. And for me, this chapter was specifically great. There are a lot of great advice, a lot of useful exercise how you can work specifically, let's say, on your lactic tolerance, how you can specifically can address your CO2 tolerance, how you can work, work on your hypoxia, etc., etc. But still there is a great emphasis on the technique. Um, there is a, a couple of phrases which take time to find out, but there is a couple of emphasis specifically that the most important part which you want to follow is your technique, right? And everything else is a secondary but still a lot of great useful information. So I took a couple of exercises already from here. Let's say only recently I started doing from time to time uh, underwater sprints. I do it with the biofins as a way to improve my lactic tolerance. But again, in the future, I'm gonna take uh, more information, uh, I'm gonna take more exercise from this chapter as well. So chapter number two, the best, the best one for me, absolutely thumbs up, great chapter. Chapter number three is not that great for me specifically. It is about static apnea. And since the static apnea is definitely not my most favorite one, I don't really looking in this kind of training. However, I read it through and I can agree that if you're looking how to improve your static, there is a tons of useful information as well. So not the most useful chapter for me at this moment. Probably one day I decide that I need to improve my static as well. And then it is a lot of useful information here as well. So sub chapter number three, despite the fact that I'm not a big fan of static, 
Still, thumbs up. Yeah, no problem. Uh, chapter number four is the, uh, is the depth. So chapter number four is a deep free diving. It is a, um, how improve your diving in the ocean, right? Okay, there are quite a lot of general information which I did not really like uh, because there is a lot of information of importance of streamlining. Of course, you need to be important. So I kind of have a mixing feeling and like I can be confused is it thumbs down or thumbs up, but Umberto Pellizzari make a great move by inviting another great freediver, which is Andrea Zuccari, to participate in this chapter and explain specifically equalization, right? And because currently Andrea Zuccari is probably one of the best freediver in terms of understanding the process of equalization, he do a lot of workshop all around the world. I, I never met him personally, but I think he is a really uh, like a great uh, teacher and instructor. So, and in this chapter, he's sharing his idea how to improve equalization. And of course, only this fact that one of the best freediver in terms of equalization sharing in this book his understanding of the process of equalization and how it can be improved is absolutely deserve thumbs up. 100%, no doubt about this. And now we're coming for the chapter number five. And this is only one chapter which, in my opinion, deserve thumbs down. I'm really sorry for that. I doubt it that Mberle Pelisari is going to watch this video, but if he's going to watch it, sorry. But this chapter, chapter, at least in my opinion, is completely useless. It is a dangerous of free diving, which, again, the the whole idea about to explain the safety point of free diving is great. But when I buy the book about specific training of free diving, I want to just have tons of exercise, how to improve my dynamics, static depths, etc., etc. And here is a lot of general information about ear bar trauma, lung bar trauma, uh, how to do CPR, etc., etc. The information is great. I don't uh, deny it. But again, for me, having 40 pages of this information in this book was a little bit frustrating. So I personally put thumbs down. Your opinion is your opinion. Let me know in comments if you read this book, what do you think about chapter five specifically? But chapter number six is probably the greatest one. It is uh, the training of, you probably hopefully you see, the training of the champions. And what Umberto Pelissari did, so he interviewed uh, a bunch of world-class freedivers such as Goran Golak, such as Alexei Molchanov, such as Gulian Neri, and then he asked them a lot about what their favorite uh, training tools, how they train specifically, let's say, for dynamic or for the depths, and this is why this chapter is great. You can find a lot of useful information and even some practical exercise how you can improve your static or dynamic or depths from the world-class athletes, which in my opinion is great. So chapter number six without any doubts is huge double, double thumbs up, right? So overall what we have, we have five chapters which is really great and one chapter which might be not really useful for this particular book and what we have five to one. So overall, this is a great book to have in your freediving library. And because there is not that many freediving books at this moment, I think it is a probably, in my opinion, one of the best, right? There is another freediving book by Umberto Pellissari. I'm probably gonna do a review about it as well. Uh, but I think this one so far, the best freediving books especially for those of you who are not completely beginners. So you couldn't find the beginner level information, at least a lot of beginner level information here. But if you're already intermediate, advanced freediver, then you're gonna find a lot of useful information. Same for me, I, lot, I found a lot of useful information here. So once again, if you want to buy this book, you can go in the description and then you can find affiliated link 
in the, uh, to the Amazon where you can buy this book and then you're gonna enjoy it. And by the way, if you already have it, let me know in comments what do you think about the book. Do you agree with my opinion about chapter one to six and specifically about chapter number five or not, right? I really appreciate your feedback always. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you one more time for subscribing to my channel uh, and see you next time.